there, my friend. Welcome back to NorCast Weather School. I'm your friendly neighborhood weatherman, Nor'easter Nick. I have a question for you today. Have you ever gotten up early in the morning, walked outside, and noticed that your car is wet or has little ice crystals on it, but it didn't rain or snow the night before? <gasps> kind of puzzling, isn't it? But it's not magic. It does occur naturally under the right conditions. In today's episode, we're going to be talking all about dew and frost and how it all forms. Before we dive into the topic at hand, I think it's important to go over exactly what dew point is and what it means because, well, after all, we hear about it all the time on TV weather forecasts. And that's because most meteorologists, myself included, love using the term because it gives you a very good understanding of just what it's going to feel like outside and how you should dress, especially in those warmer spring and summertime months. It gives you an accurate depiction of how much moisture is in the air. Dew point is the temperature at which air needs to be cooled to allow for condensation and water vapor to form on the surface. The higher the dew point, the more moisture is in the air. During the daytime hours, solar radiation is going to beat down on the surface of the Earth, allowing for the ground to warm up rapidly. Now, every surface is going to warm at a different rate because they have different levels of heat retention. At night, the process reverses, and any warmth that is built up escapes or radiates back up into the upper levels of the atmosphere. A clear, starry night will cool off the best, and as soon as you add in clouds, it's kind of thwarted and uh, it acts as a blanket or insulation, you won't get as cold. Let's take a closer look at this. Pay attention to the number in the bottom left. This is your dew point. Again, that's the temperature that the air needs to be cooled to for moisture to form. In this example, the air just above the surface warms to about 67 degrees through the day. By nightfall, all of that heat escapes, allowing the air just above the surface to cool within a degree or so of the dew point. And then the two values, the air temperature and the dew point, line up when the process comes to an end. The cooling forces moisture onto the ground. Liquid water, or dew, forms in above freezing temperatures. This is when you wake up to water on the ground and on your car. Now let's look at a colder scenario that leads to the formation of frost. It all starts off the very same way. The sun heats the surface and the air just above the ground gets to about 63 degrees. But the dew point is much lower, around the freezing point. This time, when the air cools to the dew point, tiny ice crystals form. And that's how you get your frost. Well, at this point, I'd say you do know more than you did before. And I hope you walk away with a better understanding of just how it all works. As always, my friend, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, keep your eye to the skies. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to my channel by clicking this button right here. And if you want to learn another lesson from NordCast Weather School, click this video. You can also follow me on all social media platforms. It's at Nor'easter Nick.